Thank you for your interest in Shipping Solutions International Trade Compliance Tools for Importers and Exporters. This is a demonstration of the Product Classification Tool. Before you can export or import a product, you must first identify your product's proper Schedule B number for exports or harmonized schedule number for imports. This number must appear on documentation that accompanies a shipment. In addition, some products exported from the United States require an export license from either the U.S. Department of Commerce or another U.S. agency like the State Department. Before you can determine whether or not your product requires an export license, you must first determine if your product has an Export Control Classification Number, or ECCN. Our Product Classification Wizard provides several search methods that make the product classification process faster and easier. And because this information is stored online on our secure web server, you can be sure that you are accessing the most current information available. To log in to any of our online tools, go to exportcompliance.com, enter your username, password, and click login. So let me show you how the product classification tool works. First, let's look up a harmonized schedule number. Under the Classification tab, choose HS Classification and Search. Choose the country of classification. As an exporter, you might want to look up the classification of your product in the country you are shipping to in order to find out the duties your customer will have to pay. As an importer, you will want to look up the U.S. classification. I will look up the HS number for a textbook I want to import for a foreign language class. If I know the beginning of the number, I can enter that to pull up that chapter, or I can leave everything blank to pull up the entire tree. But if I have no idea what the number is, I like to start with the legal tariff search. I'll type in book and choose search. The tool is going to highlight in bold the headings that apply to books. I can choose the best heading, which looks like to me would be 4901 for printed books, and click on the plus sign to see the subheadings and 10 digit codes. I can see that the tool has highlighted 4901-990010 as textbooks and that is probably the correct number for my product but I need to make the final decision and I can see that the default duty on this item is free. Next I'll demonstrate the Schedule B search. Under the Classification tab, choose Schedule B Classification. As an example, I will look up the Schedule B code for prepackaged software. Since Schedule B numbers are only U.S. codes, there is no option to change the country of classification. If I know the beginning of the number, I can enter that or leave everything blank to pull up the entire tree. But if I don't have any idea what the number is, I can enter a description in the Schedule B description box. So I will enter software and click search. The tool shows me the chapter and heading that includes software. I can click on the plus sign and see that the tool has highlighted the code that includes the word software. And I can read the description to make sure it is the proper code. Lastly, I'll demonstrate how to do an ECCN search. Under the Classification tab, choose ECN Classification and Search. The tool uses the term ECN because that is the term that is used worldwide. And as you can see, you can look up codes from other countries. But in the United States, the code is called an ECCN number. If I know what my ECCN starts with, I can type in the beginning of the number and choose Search. It will then take me to that part of the Commerce Control list and I can drill down to my proper code. Or I can leave everything blank, choose Search, and the tree of all the ECCN categories will appear. But if I don't know the number, I can enter a phrase such as Telecommunications Equipment. And because this is more than one word, I will click on Phrase Match and then Search. Two potential matches are shown in bold in the ECCN, Category 4 and 5. The tool also highlights in bold a possible match in the U.S. Munition List, which is part of the International Traffic and Arms Regulations, or ITAR. I will choose Category 5, and as I continue to drill down through the codes, the tool highlights in bold what it thinks the best choices are for me, but I need to make the best decision 
based on my product. A one-year subscription to the product classification tool is only $1,000 and there are no limitations to the number of searches you can conduct each day, month, or year. Just call Shipping Solutions toll-free at 1-888-890-7447 and subscribe today. If you're not ready to subscribe, give us a call and we can give you access to a test account so you can try the product classification tool for yourself. This information is designed to assist you in the import and export process, but it does not replace the need for an understanding of the international trade laws of the United States. You can get additional training from the U.S. government websites listed on the screen and from our sister company, International Business Training, which offers books, self-study classes, seminars, and webinars on the import-export process. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in Shipping Solutions online compliance tools.